Look at the PAT numbers that we're getting initially is that the PAT is coming at around 668 crore rupees versus 18 our estimates of about 648 crore rupees. Uh, we will be having some more details in a short while from now and I will give little more time for Vinny to just collate the data. Uh, revenue is coming at around 4,591 4, crore rupees. It's an uptick of about 18% on a year-on-year -year basis. Your margins that is coming at around 22% if you look at the ET now poll. The margin that we are expecting is 20.1%, 20 which means that there is a beat on the margin front for Nestle. And when you're on the surface, numbers for Nestle is looking very good. And coincidentally, a short while ago, you had Nestle Global also come up with these numbers, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. So normally it does happen that, you know, Nestle Global comes out with the Trying numbers. Trying to trick us, isn't yes. it? Yes. <laughs> and so looking at the numbers, when you look at it, yes, seems like a good set of numbers uh, offhand. When you look at it, uh, revenue seeing a double-digit growth like we were expecting, actually much better than what we were expecting. We were expecting 11% growth. Uh, they've seen an 18% growth coming in. Profitability also seeing a strong growth uh, this time around as well. 5% is what we were expecting. Profits have come in at... Uh, 668 crores, which is up by 8%. Margins seeing better, like you mentioned, better than what was expected. And this time around also, yes, you know, what we see in terms of uh, growth, there will be a pricing-led growth. That is a factor that is playing out for Nestle as well, given that the company had taken price hikes uh, during this quarter as well. Now, let me just uh, look at overall in terms of the e-commerce performance of the company. They have seen a strong acceleration in growth over there as well. Out of home consumption, they're seeing a robust uh, growth there as well, a reopening trade, which is working out for them. Them. Everyone is coming out, so that is working out uh, for the company. Overall, in terms of overall uh, the Maggie business as well as um prepared dish, cooking aids, that has also seen a strong growth coming in, aided by a media as well as distribution expenses. Uh, their beverages business, that is uh, Nescafe, uh, the Sunrise, as well as Nescafe, uh, Nes uh, Nescafe Classic, that has seen a strong growth coming in as well. Festive execution is something that is working out uh, for the confectionery business uh, of the company as well. So all in all, as of now, seems like a good set of numbers. Uh, above the 18 now estimates is what uh, Nestle has reported in terms of numbers. Absolutely. That is Nestle for you and we also have Ashish Maheshwari joining us. Uh, good morning, Ashish. And before we come to you on talking about your Diwali picks and talking about where you see uh, the market headed, let's talk about Nestle numbers. How are the numbers looking on the surface to you? Looks like uh, Vinny just gave an entire lowdown on how the numbers are. The margins have beaten estimates. Uh, their revenue is also looking strong. So are the pat. What's your view on Nestle? <laughs> Yes, uh, I think a uh, good set of numbers because the estimate was around 640 odd crores and uh, uh, the revenue side also, the uh, uh, top line is also concerned. And one good thing is, is as you are the market leader, Nestle, wherever they operate, uh, they stand number one, number two, including Maggie and other uh, products, uh, you have a pricing power. And the way we have seen uh, the prices are going up or they are able to pass on uh, all uh, price hike to consumer without uh, affecting sales volume, this is something uh, which is quite positive for Nestle as far as it is concerned. And uh, we have seen uh, stock is also performing, in fact, an expectation of good set of numbers and uh, very near to 50 to week high also. So uh, I think this will be a trendsetter for FMCG uh, pack in uh, this quarterly numbers. So my thumbs up for Nestle for uh, reporting such a good numbers. All right, so that's the take coming in on Nestle. But let's kick start with understanding uh, where uh, the experts are seeing uh, uh, value emerge uh, in the new Samvat, let me bring on board Kunal Bhutra as well in this, into this conversation. A very good morning to you, Kunal, as well as once again, good morning to you, Ashish. And Kunal, uh, where, where are the, which are the stocks that you think are a safe bet for the coming Samvat? No doubt you've already given four top picks of yours in the last two days and two more today. I know you, uh, you, you're finding it exhaustive, isn't it? <laughs> well, yes, I think coming out with multi baggers in a in a market which is moving extremely gung ho even in the short term time frame becomes a bit of a difficult task but then uh, you know there are two stocks which i would want to highlight one is uh, aegis logistics or aegis chemical uh, you know uh, that stock i think is looking very attractive on the charts it's heading towards a, a classical pennant formation more formed on the monthly time frame so uh, you know once the breakout happens uh, and whenever it happens for the stock price about the 300 and 5, 310 mark, that could be a big breakout of almost 20% further from current from those levels. So, what's the rest of man, uh, Aegis Logistics, targets of 370, stop loss could be kept at 250 mark. And the second would be a Devyani International, I've been bullish on the stock and 
even uh, previously I've been mentioning that 175, 180 is a zone of accumulation for the Vian International. So keeping that as the same zone where one could look to buy the stock, we would expect the stock to rally towards levels of 240. Stop us for the trade could be kept at uh, just below that 170 mark. Okay, those are Kunal's picks. But Ashish, coming to you, good morning. And what are your Diwali picks this time? Right. Uh, my couple of ideas which have recently touched even 50 to week high, but I'm expecting uh, these stocks will continue to perform. And uh, one good thing is, uh, or one thing that we must consider in this uh, uh, summer to next summer is that uh, whatever stocks you select, there should be very limited downside risk. So I like to first go for, uh, with uh, TVS Motors. This is sixth uh, largest now market cap company, uh, I even ahead of Hero Motor Corp. And again, the reasons are uh, whatever the new launches that they are uh, doing, they are able to grab market share from Hero and Bajaj both. So if I see in scooters, they have gone from 15 to 21% in last few years in motorcycle and 125cc uh, from 11 odd percent to 18 odd percent. And uh, the kind of uh, integration they are having in EV segment uh, which is uh, uh, which is going to be a story for the future, and this is the reason why even domestic mutual funds are aggressively buying this stock. And uh, from 17 and half percent holding, which was in last quarter, this time they are having 20 percent holding in uh, uh, TVS Motor in this quarter. So TVS Motor is a stock to watch uh, with it of 1550 till next year. Other idea which I like uh, is IDFC First Pack. This is a stock. Uh, which should not be missed uh, at this price point. And again, uh, uh, the bank has done a transition from a wholesale lender to a retail banking player. So they are now having 600 plus odd branches uh, also available uh, uh, catering to retail setup. And uh, the kind of growth we have seen, this 5x growth in retail deposit in the last three years is commandable. And uh, in my view, uh, the NPAs also will now remain even uh, below one and a half percent at net label. And retail loan book, uh, which will grow, which has already grown by 30 percent CAGR, will continue to grow. So this year, uh, compared to last year when they reported a pet of 135, I'm expecting at least 2,200 crore this year. And in the next two years, it will go to up to 4,000 crore. So a uh, stock which is available at just 35,000 crore market cap with such a profitability and uh, promising numbers, uh, this is a uh, stock not to be missed. Along with this, uh, DII and FIIs both are increasing their stake in this stock quarter over quarter, which is again a positive point, point uh, while considering your investment decision in this stock. All right, so those are the top picks coming in from uh, both of our experts uh, with uh, regards to your Diwali, how you can brighten your portfolio. So uh, it's a buy on Aegis Logistics and Devyani International, uh, that's from Kunal. And from Ashish, he is pretty upbeat on TVS Motor as well as IDFC for First Bank. But on that note, we'll actually slip into a break so that we can come back with your queries, so don't go anywhere. Century Flight Club Prime. Aag se bachaye. Hello? Hello sir, I'm 
अंकल कॉलिंग फॉर कार इंश्योरेंस अरे यार कितनी बार फोन करेगा सर मैं सिर्फ सुनो अभी नहीं मैं पार्टी में जा रहा हूँ यार अच्छा पार्टी सर वैसे पार्टी से जा रहा है अगर आपको थर्ड पार्टी इंश्योरेंस चाहिए ना तो मोटर इंश्योरेंस चाहिए बिना कॉल्स के झंझट के नो अनवांटेड कॉल्स ऑन फोन पे टेंशन फ्री इंश्योरेंस Karnataka has led India in fostering an ecosystem for aerospace and defence. Such a ready environment was a key determinant in Airbus locating the bulk of its Indian operations in the state. In Bangalore, we have already access to the best technology, mines, supplier base, and related infrastructure. Airbus believes in Karnataka. You too can. Suslon Energy Limited, one of India's top manufacturers in the wind component manufacturing segment and one of the top renewable energy O&M service providers in India, with a footprint across 17 countries on six continents. The Suslon Energy Limited rights issue of 2 billion 400 million partly paid up equity shares of face value of rupees two each for cash at a price of rupees five per share. The issue closes tomorrow. <laughs> ओएलएक्स ऑटो से देता है आपकी कार का बेस्ट प्राइस सुनीता सुना तुमने ये क्या बोल रहे हैं यही कि ओएलएक्स ऑटो देता है आपकी कार का बेस्ट प्राइस ये प्राइस ही नहीं सरप्राइज है विजिट ओ एल एक्स ऑटो डॉट इन इंडिया बुल्स हाउसिंग फाइनेंस लिमिटेड अनाउंसेज पब्लिक इशू ऑफ सिक्योर रिडीमेबल एन सी डीज ऑफरिंग कूपन रेट ऑफ अपू नाइन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट पर एन एम एंड एडिशनल इंसेंटिव ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव परसेंट पर एन एम ट्रांच थ्री इशू इज ओपन फॉर सब्सक्रिप्शन To subscribe, log on to IndiaBullsHomeLoans.com. For risk factors and more details, refer to the Tranche Three prospectus available on the websites of SEBI, Stock Exchange Company, and the lead managers. Attic fittings make your furniture work beautifully. German quality you can trust. My journey of insurance and investments began at the same time when I invested in LIC Seep. In this fast moving world, Seep can balance your funds with security and growth. Seep will take care of the ups and downs of the market and will give you fruitful results so that you enjoy the ride. And when Seep is with you, you can soar high. LIC's unit linked insurance plan Seep offers savings and protection so that you can soar high in your life. LIC, har pal aapke saath. In today's times of heightened health awareness, people are taking proactive steps to promote their well-being. Nature's Island caters to the demand for a holistic lifestyle. The brand has found a market thanks to its association with Amazon Launchpad program. Here's the story on Amazon Sambhav, keeping India first, partnered by the Times Network. In a market infiltrated with dubious and low quality products, Raja Singla wanted to make a difference. They launched Nature's Island that offers pure and effective health supplements for a healthy and holistic lifestyle. The products are made using clinically tested ingredients and well-researched formulations. Our three principles are to work that is efficacy, quality and transparency. Our journey with Amazon started about three years ago, 2019, where we launched ourselves on Amazon. It was the first platform that we launched as a brand, and it's been pretty great so far. Even though the Singulars have a long-standing legacy in the health supplement segment, Nature's Island benefited from the expertise offered by the Amazon Launchpad program. The most important thing is that there is a 24-hour helpline which we can utilize. और वो बहुत छोटी छोटी चीज़ें आपको बताते हैं जिससे आपकी ब्रांड की विजिबिलिटी इंप्रूव होती है इन टर्म्स ऑफ लाइवलीहुड आई थिंक लॉन्च पैड हैज एनेबल्ड अस टू रीच आउट टू मोर एंड मोर पीपल इन एवरी नुक एंड कॉर्नर ऑफ द कंट्री वी हैव 15 एम्प्लॉयज करंटली वर्किंग अंडर दिस ब्रांड सो वी सी अ लॉट ऑफ पोटेंशियल इन ग्रोइंग विद एमेजॉन इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सेगमेंट वी थिंक इन अदर थ्री ईयर्स वी शुड बी एबल टू हैव एट लीस्ट एन एक्स ग्रोथ इन आर बिजनेस It promises to pack complete nutrition in a pill so that you can enjoy a fit and active lifestyle.
Welcome back. You're watching Market Cap. I beg your pardon. Buy now, sell now on ET now. And let's ask the most pertinent question uh, to Ashish then. And Ashish, today if you see the markets are seeing an upbeat uh, uh, move today. Looks like we are set for fourth uh, consecutive day of gain for the Indian benchmark indices. But, uh, you know, uh, the recent downtick in the markets has made investors pretty jittery because you don't know when the tide will turn in the favor of the downside. So in such market scenario, when uh, you cannot actually predict or time the markets, what should retail investors do to protect their wealth? Yeah, this is a very valid question at this point of time uh, because a lot of retail investors uh, and particularly traders uh, have become investors by virtue of uh, they couldn't get uh, exit at higher price. But uh, one thing we must uh, always be clear, there's not any free lunches or very easy money in, uh, in equity market investment. If there is a higher return, then you must embrace uh, there is a risk factor also associated. So uh, my uh, suggestion will be uh, first uh, to, uh, to the investors or traders is first define uh, what kind of trader or investor you are and try to be more disciplined while making your investments. Because we have seen a lot of uh, people just end up buying a stock at 52 week high but not able to sell uh, and they have bought this stock for trading. So if you are a trader, then decide what are you a day trader. If you are a short term trader, then have a horizon of one to three days or seven days. If you are a long term investor, then don't look at the stock on day to day basis. So until unless uh, yeah, you will keep on hopping uh, or doing hop on hop off kind of thing in investments, you will not able to make money. Only your broker will make money. So my suggestion will be uh, uh, to your uh, viewers uh, to make a decision. Uh, in which board they like to uh, do this journey of investment. Okay, that's the way you should be protecting yourself and that's a view coming in from Ashish. But let's get started with all the all your stock related queries. You can send us your queries either on YouTube, WhatsApp or on Twitter as well. And uh, Kunal, let me start with you with the first query. We have this first query coming in from Bangalore. It's, it's from SK uh, Saran and uh, this one is on Petronet LNG. They are holding 1000 shares of Petronet LNG at 239 rupees per share. Should they be looking to average at the current market price? Well, not at current price, but uh, I would believe that only if the stock manages to pull back again and cross uh, you know, the levels of 220, then uh, it makes sense to try and average the stock because at this point of time, it seems that the stock would probably try and correct a bit more from current levels. So maybe 190, 192 could be the next level of target for Petronet. So uh, I would not suggest an averaging on the downside. But in case if the stock manages to break out one of its uh, you know, minor resistances, that could be a signal that this downtrend is ended for Petronet LNG. Right. Uh, Nino, yes, indeed, I did forget. Looks like I did forget the show name. Uh, I'm anchoring with Vinny after a while. So, yes, got used to saying Market Cafe every time I anchor with her. But, yes, it is by now, Senna. I do remember it. Uh, Vinod is asking a question on future of Vedanta as well as Zomato. He's saying that he has 350, he has uh, Vedanta, yeah, he has uh, 350 shares of Vedanta. And 1,000 shares of Zomato, which he's looking to keep invested for the longer term. Uh, so what should he do? Do you think it makes sense, Ashish, Vedanta and Zomato, both of them, for the next two years? Yes, uh, I'll suggest to you, uh, investor, uh, to keep on holding both these stocks for the next couple of years. Again, the triggers are in Vedanta, uh, the kind of uh, uh, you know, volume growth they are uh, having in their uh, commodity business, uh, uh, they will continue to outperform a broader market as far as their commodity prices, the commodities are concerned. So they will be a market lead because they are a market leader, so they will continue to do well. So instead of steel stock, I'll suggest more uh, non ferrous stocks. That is how I like Vedanta and Nandalco. As well as Zomato is concerned, again, uh, as management has given. <clears throat> guideline that next one to two years they'll be back to, they will be a profitable venture so if it happens and the share size what zometo is having now pan india basis this will also kind of do well so my suggestion fundamentally is to remain invested in both okay the next query we have is coming in on itc canal this one is for you um uh, we have the viewer who wants to know the uh, the buy price for ITC for them is around 330 and the bought 400 shares. Uh, would you advise them to hold or exit uh, advice for the next one, two months? 
I mean, why exit the stock? Uh, I think uh, Sheridan knows it very well that we've been shouting on rooftops uh, that ITC has been a good buy since last, I think, eight to nine months of this, uh, ten, ten months of this calendar year. I would still believe uh, that ITC is uh, a stock which you can continue to hold on from current levels. Uh, my belief is that the stock has just gone into a, a, a big uptrend like what we've seen over the last uh, nine to ten months, something which we've not seen for the stock uh, possibly over the last six to seven years. Uh, that's the that's the best which I can remember for ITC that when the stock had gone into a correction in 2016 onwards. So I think it's managed to managed to uh, you know cover up the underperformance and start a strong uptrend for itself. I would definitely suggest a hold on ITC. And not just me, uh, Kunal. I'm sure all the viewers who've been tuning in regularly to buy now sell now would know that uh, you've been screaming from the rooftop on ITC today. We don't have Rajesh. Rajesh has been screaming from rooftop of I uh, on I about ITC from Kolkata itself. So yes, uh, we've had. Uh, a lot of our viewers who've tuned in would know that, yes, uh, Kunal has been pretty upbeat on ITC and continues to be upbeat on this particular counter. Let me take the next one. Coming from Tripta Aluwalia, and Tripta has about uh, has Vinati Organics. She's bought it at, I think, at levels of around 2,215 rupees per share, as well as Goba, Goa Carbon at 465. Both of these counters are in losses, Kunal. What should she do? So I think with the organics, I don't see a major uh, concern, I think except for the last two months where the stock has gone through a very sharp correction. There doesn't seem to be a major concern uh, for the stock price on the long term charts. Now what has happened is over the last two months, because the stock has corrected from 2300 to now 1800 odd levels, 1880, 1890 levels, uh, you know, there could be a possibility that for at least the next one and a half to two months, the stock may remain into a bit of a downward trend. But then uh, you know, if you're already holding the stock from a uh, you know, slightly medium term perspective, you can continue to hold on possibly in the next one or two months once the stock bottoms out. Uh, that could be a point where you can look to average further. I'm not sure of Goa Carbon because I don't track the stock, but for Vinity Organics, my belief is that you can probably stay put at least as of now. The next query we have is coming in from Mahalakshmi from Hyderabad. This one is for you, Ashish, and uh, this is on Aditya Billa Fashion and Retail. Uh, they're holding 200 shares of Aditya Billa Fashion at uh, around 295 rupees for uh, per share, and this is for the last 12 months they've been holding this uh, this stock. Now, should they look to sell this and shift to companies like Bajaj Fincer, GNFC, or continue to hold this one for a long term? No, I suggest you can continue to remain hold for uh, longer, right? because uh, particularly in fashion retail, uh, these businesses are doing good. We have seen how um, uh, stocks of Vedant fashions or uh, uh, trend has moved uh, in last six months. So similarly, I, I like this Aditya Birla fashion uh, idea also. And in fact, we must not forget in uh, fashion and retail where they are there, there are only three players, which is trend, Aditya Birla fashion and geo, uh, which are grabbing the market share. So, uh, and this part of broader consumption theme also. So, so continue to remain invested here. In one year, uh, you will get 375 to even 400 uh, uh, rupees target in this. Next query that I have is uh, coming in for a, from a viewer uh, that is on BL Kunal. And uh, Mukil is saying that uh, he's bought BL this morning itself at a price of around 107 rupees per share. He wants to know whether he, he can hold this one for the short term. And what sort of upside target can he look for for BEL? What's your take on this one, given the fact that BEL uh, is also among those uh, counters who've run up sharply in the defense pack as well? So do you see further scope for upside, given the fact that he just bought the stock? Also, Asiyat has uh, written to us uh, asking about uh, which is the best company in the defense space. So do you think BEL makes the cut? So I will uh, first go with BV BEL. And uh, I think in the morning on the chart busters, I had given the charts for uh, you know, BEL showcasing that how there has been a stochastic uh, you know, breakout. It's an oscillator for uh, you know, mapping the technical trends on the short term charts. And that has given a breakout for BEL on the daily time frame. Now, whenever that has happened, at least in the last three occasions, we've seen a moderate 5% uh, you know, to 10% kind of a rally for BEL, which has panned out for, say, in the next three weeks, to four weeks. So if that's the kind of a time horizon which you have for BEL uh, for the first query, then uh, I would believe that you should look to stay put into the stock, now, even if you bought it as an intraday trade. For the other uh, you know, uh, individual, I would believe that BEL as well as HAL, I think both these stocks are also looking very attractive. So you can have probably a basket of at least two or three names from the defense pack. Uh, you know, BEL and HAL could be the two preferred bets. And from the third one, you can look at actually Mascow Doc. 
provided the stock gets into a bit of a correction. So I think it's run up exceedingly high uh, from those 600 or 500 levels to 650, 60 with the stock had tested a few days back. So if it corrects back towards 600 levels, that's a good starting point for Mazda Talk. The next uh, query we have is coming in from uh, Subrata Mukherjee and uh, Ashish, this one is for you. They want a long-term view coming in on Polypex uh, Corporation. What is your view here? Should they be looking to buy this? Okay, so uh, we have seen uh, in Polyplex some decent correction which has come uh, from 2400 levels down to uh, below 1800 it has touched. So my suggestion will be uh, at this point of time, uh, just wait for some more time and if you'll get uh, this stock and correction, uh, further correction, uh, fundamentally nothing wrong with the company. Only thing is uh, as the commodity cycle is softening, and uh, the realization has also come down uh, for them also proportionately. So the stock has uh, uh, underperformed. But fundamentally very strong company and over a period of time it is going to be sold also to um, new buyers. So uh, you can keep a track and uh, from 50 to 100 rupees further decline from here will be make uh, in a very attractive entry point in Polyplex. Right, on that note, we'll actually slip into a break on this edition of uh, Buy Now, Sell Now, but we will be back with all of your queries uh, after this break, so don't go anywhere. आपको फैलने से रोकना मुश्किल है पर नामुमकिन नहीं अब फायरवॉल टेक्नोलॉजी के साथ सेंचुरी प्लाय क्लब प्राइम आग से बचाए डू वी हैव टू वेट इयर्स फॉर अ क्योर हेलो मम्मी कैन यू गो मेक सम पैनकेक्स या लेट्स गो और आर वी स्मार्टर देन दैट There's more of us in the squad today. There's a young one in the crew. There's a big boy in the gang. There's more color in the trying. More styles in the wardrobe. We may look mean, but we're still the safest guys to be with. There's more punch, more legacy, more wow in us today. The original rock stars are rock stars still. But there's one thing we will be today and every day. New, now and forever. Tata Motors, new, forever. Welcome back and congratulations for making the semifinals. This is Adam Draper. We have Nathaniel, the one, the only, Joe Montana. We'll put together a little uh -oh. football game. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. We have four amazing entrepreneurs from Spain, Taiwan, the Midwest, and the East Coast. We can only choose one of them. And the winner gets a million dollar investment. Show me the money! Show me the money! Show me the money! OLX Auto is giving you the best price of your car. What are you doing? This is OLX Auto is giving you the best price of your car. This is not a surprise. Visit OLXautos.in बंटी की सेंचुरी पे पूरा परिवार उछलता है पर अफसोस बंटी का बल्ला मोबाइल पर ही चलता है सिग्नेचर ग्लोबल सिटी अब ये मत पूछेगा कि यहां भी लोग रहते हैं ऐसे भी घर होते हैं बचपन का मजा और बढ़ जाता है जब बॉल सच्ची के आसमान में जाता है इसीलिए इंडिपेंडेंट फ्लोर्स फॉर द इंडिपेंडेंट यू सिग्नेचर ग्लोबल सिटी न्यू कार लॉन्चेस New wider highways, fast doorstep deliveries are all signs of a boom in India's transportation and logistics team. Now you too can be a part of it with ICICI Prudential Transportation and Logistics Fund that aims to accelerate your portfolio. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme related documents carefully. You might be an investor, but are you a pro investor? Aditya Birla Sun Life Mutual Fund presents Pro Investing, partnered by ET Now, a platform bringing together the pros from the investment world who will guide you on how you can give an optimum edge to your financial portfolio. 
So investing is all about trying to build that core portfolio. So we think that the three components of that is one is a large cap fund, and then there is the flexi cap category. To add balance to the whole is the balance advantage uh, category. A lot of investors ask us uh, how to time the market. So the balance advantage category actually takes care of that through disciplined asset allocation. You know, any back testing that you've done, you've, you've seen that you know the returns genuinely across time frames have been superior to the you know to the benchmarks. I just think it just makes life easier from an investor perspective. Watch the episode at these times. Volkswagen Tycoon, India's safest SUVW. Volkswagen. आग को फैलने से रोकना मुश्किल है, पर ना मुमकिन नहीं। अब Firewall Technology के साथ Century Ply Club Prime आग से बचाए। Can someone working alone solve all the world's biggest challenges? Collaboration, the way we'll make lighter, more sustainable packaging and generate limitless energy. At Sabic, we believe the chemistry between people is the chemistry that matters. Sabic. Welcome back and you're watching Buy Now, Sell Now on ET Now. Let's keep it going and continue with all your stock-related queries. Kunal, uh, this next query is actually coming in for you, okay? And firstly, uh, Sandeep, uh, very happy anniversary to you. And uh, I am going to ask Kunal this query. Kunal, uh, it's his anniversary today and they do want to know that one stock they could buy for a short term, uh, which one would you be suggesting then? Well, first of all, I'm uh, wishing you as well for a very happy anniversary from me as well as uh, everyone over here. Uh, so we've given already six talks, I think, in the last three days, uh, six uh, Diwali picks. Now, it's difficult to just try and pick and choose one because there would be two more uh, f uh, sets remaining in the next couple of days. But then if I have to uh, you know, pick out one stock which uh, I would believe looks very attractive from current levels and something which you can buy uh, from current zone would be IDFC First Bank. I think at current levels of 55, 50, 57 in fact now at current levels, looks very attractive from a medium to long term play. The stock has gone through a big breakout uh, on the longer term charts and that's the most attractive part for uh, you know, the stock price. So uh, you can consider to buy the stock. Right. Actually, if you see that, um, uh, not only Kunal, even Ashish is pretty upbeat on IDFC First Bank, Sandeep. Even he also suggested that as his Diwali pick and happy anniversary to you as well. Please let us know what uh, what do you plan to do in the evening. We'll be very interested in that because, uh, yeah, we like to know what people do after work hours also. <laughs> but let's move on and let's talk about uh, Maleshwar's question. And he wants to know whether he can buy data patterns and Crompton trees at current levels for the short term. Data patterns. Do you track this one by any chance, Kunal? No, I don't track data patterns, but, but Crompton Reeves, I think, is something which you can look to buy. Now, the stock is getting into a... Uh, a recovery mode. I think there have been a bit of uh, you know failed recoveries for the stock price in the last many months. But then you know it's for example it's been unable to surpass the levels of 300, 360 very convincingly. There have been multiple attempts for the stock price, but then it's trying to uh, you know get its feet back again. So and it's typically a very low beta to moderate beta kind of a stock. So you can look to buy, but then uh, I think the bigger part of the uptrend would probably begin once the stock crosses over the 300 levels. Uh, Ashish, this next query we have is coming in on Z. Ghosh Dada from Delhi is uh, holding 1,500 shares of Z at around 245 rupees per share. They want to know that whether they should actually add 2,000 more shares of Z at the current market price for a long term. What's your view? Yeah, long term uh, Z is a good uh, bet as such in uh, media and entertainment pack. And uh, uh, as you already have an exposure, uh, you can surely add on uh, for in some decline. So I'm expecting uh, in some correction, if you are getting in this 10, 15 rupees lower from current price, uh, then gradually start accumulating. Because whatever the short-term triggers are over there in Z, they are over. 
So uh, if you are having long term horizon, surely it's a good buy because uh, debt free company and good uh, record of profitability and whatever issues were there related to uh, uh, Invesco, they are also getting over now. And uh, once their block block etc is getting transferred, so my suggestion will be uh, decline should be used uh, to accumulate more Z. All right. Uh, this next one is uh, coming in from. Um... This one is from Surana and uh, he wants to know about Tata Steel. He's already holding 525 shares and 97 rupees per share. He wants to know that does Russia's recession affect it as it has significant business in Russia as well. And he wants to know whether it makes sense for him to kind to hold on to Tata Steel or should he look to exit this one or accumulate some more. What's your take on this one, Ashish? My suggestion will be to exit from Tata Steel because I am not very bullish as far as the steel stocks are concerned. Because forget about Russia, even in domestic markets, we have seen a lot of pricing pressure uh, for uh, these steel companies. Uh, if I see their price of uh, uh, CR steel, which was once upon a time at 89 rupees a kg, is now hovering around 60, 62 rupees a kg. So whatever the uh, you know, uh, home run was there as far as steel prices are concerned. Uh, I, this is something like they, those days are over. So instead of this, I'll I suggest uh, to look at more jewelry stock like Kalyan Jewelers. You can add at 105 rupees because uh, this is a sector which will give you very good returns in this year on account of um, uh, consumption which is going up on account of stable gold prices so more and more people are buying this uh, jewelry um, jewelry from branded stores and now as the cash is slightly out of circulation so instead of going to a small time jewelers people are going to larger jewelers where they get more designs etc so my suggestion will be uh, to look at this stock and i am uh, quite optimistic that this will touch around 130 140 next one year right, with that let's kick start with the rapid fire then and this one is coming from vikas uh, kunal Prince Pipe, should he accumulate or should he buy at the current price? Well, yes, you can look to buy at current price. I think the stock has hit back towards a major support point on the long-term charts. Goodbye. Okay. Next query we have is from Raghu from Pondi and Ashish. Uh, this one is on Home First Finance. They're holding 1,000 shares at 850. Should they continue to hold this or sell for a long-term or look to average? So my suggestion will be to exit. I'm not very bullish on uh, housing finance stock instead of that. Uh, look for more accumulation in IDFC first bank. Okay, this was coming from Mutu, ICICI Lombard. He's uh, saying that he's sitting on 10% loss. Should he accumulate or stay invested for the long term? What's your take, Ashish? Uh, I'm not very bullish on insurance stock. My suggestion will be to exit. And instead of this, look at IRCTC, which uh, looks more promising. And another 100 rupees upside is possible in the next three months here. Kunal, uh, Infosys November Future, Anish wants to know whether they can look to buy at current levels. Well, yes, I think it's a good time to buy Infosys November Futures. My belief is that most of these large cap IT names should continue to rally up in the next couple of series. Okay, Anup wants to know about Birla Soft. 450 is the buy price, is going down more than 50% 50 50 from his buy level. What should he do? Should he hold or exit, Kunal? You can continue to hold on. I would not say an exit at current levels, but then averaging also is something which I would not recommend at current zone. Wait out for a point where the stock breaks past about 350 levels. First point to average. Ashish, this next query we have is uh, on Ultratech. Uh, should the viewer continue to hold Ultratech at 5,500 or should they shift to Ambuja and uh, or any other cement stock? Would you suggest? Ashish? Yeah, I suggest to shift to Ambuja cement, which look more promising. Okay, Santi wants to know about APL, uh, 11 shares, 585 is the buy price, wants to add two more, 200 more shares for the longer term, makes sense? Kunal? Well, yes, I would suggest to uh, go ahead with it. Okay, and on that note, uh, we're absolutely out of uh, time uh, for taking your queries for today. So thank you so much, Kunal, as well as Ashish viewers. We'll be taking more queries tomorrow, so don't be disappointed and send us your queries tomorrow as well. On that note, we're going to sip into a very short break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back. आग को फैलने से रोकना मुश्किल है, पर ना मुमकिन नहीं। अब Firewall Technology के साथ Century Ply Club Prime आग से बचाए। Do we have to wait years for a cure? Hey, Mommy, can we go make some pancakes? Yeah, let's go.
Or are we smarter than that? Suslon Energy Limited, market leader in India with significant experience across the entire wind energy value chain. An established track record in the wind energy sector with more than 27 years of experience. With the largest installed base in India as a wind energy OEM. The Suslon Energy Limited rights issue of 2 billion 400 million partly paid up equity shares of face value of rupees 2 each for cash at a price of rupees 5 per share. The issue closes today at 5 p.m. इस उम्र में बोल बोल के कितने अरमान अधूरे रह गए बहुत सी प्रेम कहानिया हिंदुस्तान में यही खत्म हो गई क्योंकि उम्र हो चुकी है लोग क्या कहेंगे शरीर बूढ़ा होता है दिल नहीं शांति और विनोद का दिल भी साठ की उम्र में एक दूसरे के लिए धड़का आखिरी रिश्ता सिर्फ मिर्ची प्लस ऐप पे डाउनलोड द मिर्ची प्लस ऐप कहानियों का असली अड्डा ये लो अब खाओ कद्दू इसके चक्कर में दो हजार का चलान लग गया बाइक इंश्योरेंस रिन्यू करते तो नहीं लगता ना पापा अच्छा इंश्योरेंस कितने महंगी है पता है मैं यहाँ पैसे बचाऊ सस्ते कद्दू के चक्कर में पंद्रह किलोमीटर दूर जाओ कोई कदर नहीं है मेरी दो हजार रूपए का सस्ता कद्दू बाइक इंश्योरेंस महंगी पड़ रही है प्रीमियम स्टार्टिंग है जस्ट रुपीज वन पॉइंट फाइव पर डे ऑन फोन पे टेंशन फ्री इंश्योरेंस